Well, a great match that we have for you tonight right here at the Jalan Besar Stadium. A special night as well as we have a president as our northern in the audience. Well, for all the action right now, let's cross over to our mass commentators. It's over to Desko Gil and Abbasar. Thanks very much, Paul. Yes, uh, President S. R. Northern having a good close look at the team sheets, trying to work out who's who. What formation do you think you'd play, Abbas? <laughs> I think uh, the President will probably play six strikers and uh, four midfielders. <laughs> OK, the teams, though, are coming out on the pitch, and this truly is a match to look forward to. Etoile, the French side who've taken the league and the newspapers and the press by storm against the Singapore Armed Forces, flying the flag for Singapore football in the Asian Champions League. This is the Etoile lineup, and it's a strong lineup. They've got their two top scorers, Frederick Mendy at number 12, and Matthias Vershav. They've got eight goals between them, and there are goals in this side, although they've struggled in recent games. Absolutely. Uh, both of them can score goals. They're both two very, very good strikers, and, uh, you know, with Michelini and, uh, behind them and uh, pulling the strings, uh, you know, anything is possible tonight. Michelini is probably the standout player of the league so far, although Kareem Bujema is the man who won the S League uh, Player of the Month award last year. Bujema misses this match with a hamstring injury and they will miss him. Absolutely, he's uh, marauding runs down the left-hand side. He's been great for them actually and uh, he's not only a good defender, he's a very, very good uh, attacking uh, weapon out, uh, out wide on the left. So he will definitely be missed for, for the crosses to Mendy and Visage. Familiar faces for Singapore Armed Forces, captain by Cheryl Janton. Indra Chardon Dowd is the lone striker. He's got six goals to his credit, but there are goals galore with the likes of Latif Akeyoshi and John Wilkinson back after injury. The armed forces, they've got one more AFC Champions League game, then they can focus on the league. Yeah, look, uh, obviously that's in the back of their minds. Uh, after that, I think they'll put their head down and start concentrating, and you'll see the best out of, out of SAF. But it's great to see uh, Indra scoring goals, and uh, pretty much and good to see Johnny Wilkinson back for them, because they definitely have missed him in the midfield there. It's probably a stronger lineup as the armed forces can put out with the exception of Shaifel Issa, who's still recovering from that horrible knee ligament injury. So I hope the recovery is going well, Shaifel. The president has now decided on his team formation. <laughs> I think he's still going with six strikers and four midfields and no defenders. <laughs> He'll really enjoy seeing the armed forces. They really have carried the flag with vigour for uh, Singapore. That victory over Henan Janya was a terrific result for Singapore football. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's, they're starting to get their feet uh, all together and they're playing some good footy now. They've gotten their best, probably their best lineup uh, this season. Everybody's on board. And look, if Edouard is going to be uh, uh, something in this league, they'll have to beat SAF because SAF have been the best team by far the last five years in Singapore. We're looking at Etoile in the French tricolour of red, white and the blue shirts. Abbas Daud is the very experienced and a very good referee in, in charge of this. It's a high-profile match, high-profile teams. Let's hope it's fireworks on the park. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's hope it's an attacking uh, game and plenty of goals and plenty of good football. And uh, definitely there's a lot of good players on, on show tonight. Patrick Valle, the coach of Etoile. We will keep a close eye on Valet's antics on the touchline. He's a show in his own right. But now let's focus on the match at Jalambasa. It's the armed forces in white versus Etoile in blue. We are underway. Wilkinson finds Ahmad Latif who immediately tries to fizz one out and that'll be a good battle between Julian Delatraz who's played at right back in recent weeks and Akeyoshi who won't be scared to run at him. It'll be a good battle. Delacraz is definitely one of the, the better players in this Atual team so uh, but he'll have his handful against Akeyoshi. He's very very nimble and good uh, technical player. Abbasad is the man providing the words of wisdom and it's Abbasad officially an A-licensed coach. <laughs> Not yet. 
Not yet. Sorry, am I being a bit premature? <laughs> well, it is completed. Let's hope that I pass my course. Sorry about that. But he certainly knows what he's on about. He's played at the top level, full international for Australia. Singapore fans will remember him for his antics and scoring heroics on the field in the early 90s. Damiani for Etwell, circa 2010. Cheryl Jansen out to the edge of his penalty area. Looking forward to Karubi and uh, Johnny Wilkins in the midfield, the battle tonight. I think uh, they'll be very, very vital for both of their teams uh, uh, going forward. So both very good technical players and uh, smart players. So uh, I think the better who gets uh, uh, the best out of each other is, is going to be uh, you know, the winner on the night. There's an intensity, there's a special feel around about this game and the weather, it's been raining so it's a little bit cooler which will suit the, the French side. And I'm anticipating a lot from two very good footballing sides. Yeah, look, they're both uh, doing well so far this season. Uh, you know, they're a little bit behind Tampanese. I think Tampanese had the jump on both of them, but uh, it's a long season and uh, now, you know, both teams got their best players on the park. Let's hope that uh, the results uh, will start coming. Here's Latif. Closed down by Cyril Banyost. Banyost, who's been versatile, he's played central midfield and now he's operating in a wide position. I think he's uh, Mr. Fixer in, uh, in the midfield. He plays out wide in the middle. He can play it right back. Uh, he's, a, he's a good young player and uh, looking forward to a good battle with Ahmed Latif, who's uh, one of the, you know, the better players in this SAF lineup. Hafiz gets the little knockback off his own player. It's helped on by Indra, but only to Karubi. Leclerc looks for Vashav. I'm going to tell you, Matches Vashav will enjoy playing at Jalan Basar on a warmish Friday night. He used to play at the Vetch Field in Swansea, which is a godforsaken place at the best of times. <laughs> He's looked forward to the rain tonight. I think the rain will help the French team. I agree with you there. Uh, there's, I think both teams will, will enjoy the conditions out there tonight. It's a nice crowd in and uh, looking forward to it. Akayoshi comes short. Shepherded by Karubi, who missed uh, a large chunk of the, the season with a knee injury, but he's back. And that's all we'll be hoping that they can get firing on all cylinders. They've had struggles scoring goals in recent weeks. Goalless in defeat against Gombak. Goalless in the draw against Alborex. A late goal only to de defeat Balestia. It is surprising they have only scored one goal in the last three games because they, they do attack, they love to attack, and uh, unfortunately they just not have not been taking their chances, and that's why tonight Mendy and Vesaf is very, very important. If they're going to beat SAF, they will need to score. Well, Charles penalised for this little infringement, although no Rahman looked as though he was... Just blocking his way. Free kick though goes to the armed forces in an unfamiliar white shirt tonight. It's easier to pick up the numbers, I've got to say. It's good to see Nor Raman on the park. He's a, he's a very, very good player. Uh, plays very, very well for the national team. I think he's uh, going to be a good player for SAF, uh, you know, as the season goes by. Hafiz Osman, solid challenging on Banyos, but Karubi there first onto Damiani. Damiani closed down by Hafiz Osman. Free kick against Damiani, pulling back the Singapore international. You can see the intentions of the SAF uh, defenders. They're not giving uh, uh, the Etowel players, the wide players, especially Michelini and, uh, and Bonios, uh, any room on the ball. So they are closing them down very, very quickly. This is Noor Rahman. Indra. No Rahman. Sandberg. Oh, the give and go was Wilkinson. Actually, this is Sandberg, the Swede, who always looks as though he's got so much time on the ball. Yeah, he's got an important role uh, here tonight. Obviously, he's playing uh, just in front of the back four. So, uh, you know, he, he's uh, a defensive-minded uh, tonight. And uh, he's got to be... He's got to look... Uh, to look at uh, Banyos and uh, Karubi coming through, so he'll be he'll be the one sort of closing them down. Mendy, Mendy, he gets himself into a lot of goal-scoring opportunities, but so often has failed to continue. 
sponsorship coming to Etoile. They've made an awful lot of noise since coming into the league. They've won a trophy. And Frederick Mendy has, well, he was claiming a corner then. They've also attracted a little bit of sponsorship. The Iron Brand on board, but Sandberg is nearly beaten to that one. He's won it back, though. Well, they will need a lot more than I am uh, to try to beat the SAF. And, uh, the way uh, Mendy started, which is positive for them, he will create a lot, a lot of chances for himself. But uh, the question mark with him, and we've always said it uh, all along, is his finishing. So let's hope that he's, uh, he's got his uh, finishing boots on tonight. Just look at the way the French team are setting out. Vachard looks like he's playing wide right. And it looks like they're shadowing. It's almost, a, for those who like these things, the formations, it's almost a 4-1-4-1 against each other yeah it is a 4-5-1 uh, I know you like to go the 1-4-1 <laughs> but it is a 4-5-1 both got uh, sitting midfielders uh, you've got uh, uh, Jan for, for Etoile sitting in front of the back four and we, as we said earlier Sandberg will sit there and uh, Visage has gone wide and he can play that role he's a very intelligent player and he, I'm sure he'll do a good job for them Mendy closed down by Lovrich the Croatian Akayoshi First chance to run at Delatraz. Delatraz, that's a solid challenge. Lovridge blocked Mendy off the ball then. And he doesn't take many prisoners, Ivan Lovridge. He's a big boy and uh, strong in the air and he's very strong on the ground. It'll be a good battle between him and Mendy. I think Mendy's uh, found his match tonight. Michelini. First chance to weave his magic. Vashav inside looking for Michelini. Dan Bennett composed. Yeah, well read there by Daniel Bennett. Uh, but good play by Michelini. He's just going to try every trick in the book to try and uh, thread a ball through. Ahmed Latif looking for Indra. Leclerc steps in the way. No Rahman finds Akiyoshi. Akiyoshi against Delatraz. Delatraz wins again. Three times he's tried. Three times De La Traz has won. Well, uh, he's got to keep on trying and he's got to try and get past De La Traz because uh, he's very important for them, uh, Kiyoshi. If he does, well, you know, the ball in for Indra and Park Taiwan will be a dangerous one because he's got a sweet left foot on him. Park Taiwan beaten by Lakahal. But stepping in again is Sandberg and Akeyoshi up against La Traz and La Traz wins. 4-0. 4-0. <laughs> eight minutes. Uh, let's just... Uh, <laughs> that continues for, for Etowel's sake, anyway. Individual battles. If you win your individual battle on the pitch, if six of your team win their individual battles, you've got a good chance of winning the match. Absolutely, there's And at the moment, uh, SAF have uh, been on top in defence-wise, but uh, not much of the ball. Uh, much of the ball possession has been with uh, with Etowel, and SAF will need to get the ball to try and uh, do something with it. Banyos into Michelini. Too many bodies there. There's Hafiz Osman who's banged it against Cyril Banyos. I think you found they're both testing each other out at the moment and uh, really no one's taken any chance. Uh, this is very, very compact. I think they will remain compact for the first 15 minutes and then uh, you'll see maybe a new lease of life uh, from uh, one or two players. Richard Bock will have learned, or says he's learned, an awful lot from two AFC Champions League campaigns. First victory on points and certainly no disgrace in the defeats to Gamba Rosaka and Suwon. Yeah, they've been great. I mean, uh, they've only lost by, by the odd goals, which is a great effort, especially against the Japanese uh, team. And a great win last week against the Chinese team. And he's uh, well aided, uh, obviously, on the bench by V. Silveraj, who did the course with me also. So, uh, very uh, good coaches, both of them. This is Kevin Yan, and that's a forwards challenge. You've done a few of them, Abbas. I'm a much better tackler than that, I can tell you that much. <laughs> but it is Indra, and Indra can't tackle, I can tell you that much. De La Traz on to Vashav. Leclerc. Demanding the ball is Karubi. Vashav, touch lets him down. No room to play, and Vashav takes a second ball. He's got Kevin Yan down the line. No Rahman just gets a big toe in there. 
Belatraz looking for Mendy. Mendy against Bennett. Oh, and that goes against the Frenchman. Yeah, you can hear the boos, and uh, I think I agree with the, with the crowd. I don't think there was much in it there. Beautiful uh, ball, great layoff by uh, Mendy. You can see it here on the replay. I mean, there's just nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's that should have been play on and a uh, dangerous position because the ball went to Michelini, and anything could have happened after that. If Bennett's arm was over Mendy like that, would it have been a penalty? Here's Akiyoshi, though. Flag is offside. at the moment they're just struggling to put two or three passes together and uh, they just need to be a little bit patient push the ball around because they can do that you look at their lineup they're all very very good players out there very very technically gifted and they just need a little bit be patient and get the ball to into his feet and uh, get support from behind and at the moment it's uh, you know he's playing on his own at, at the top Johan Lacroix spent time at Lille he's taking the free kick good distance on it Mendy beats Sandberg and Vashab is there and Michelini comes off Ivan Lovric great touch from Ahmed Latif Makayoshi ooh Galatraz brings him down and will get a talking to at least and that's all it is from Aberstaud he had to go past him sooner rather than later there and uh, well done by the Japanese uh, kid there. And he's, you know, and a different foul there by Delatraz. And he's got a lot of pace, and he knows that. And I don't understand what the coach is on about. Monsieur Valet, he's serious. Chance, though, for Damiani. And the fullback continues his run. Mendy into Banyos. Vashav free on the right hand side. Jan ferries it out to Vashav. Plenty of blue shirts forward, but. Plenty of white shirts back. Yeah, it's 10 players back, but uh, good movement by the French team. They are moving the ball quick and wide, and uh, that's the only way they're going to get through. They, they can't go through the middle because there's eight players in the middle of the park, so, and they know that, and they're going to get the ball out wide, but it's got to be a lot quicker. The ball transfer across the field has got to be a lot quicker to get uh, shift defenders out of position. It's good possessional play between Vashav and Karubi. Ruby, the focal point. Banyos. Damiani goes outside. Banyos tries the shot. Oh, and it's found the bottom corner. Cyril Banyos. 13 minutes gone. And it's a goal that's caught us by surprise and Cheryl Jansen by surprise. But Etwal have the lead. Absolutely, and uh, deserved lead. Great shot there by uh, Cyril Banyos. <laughs> like you said, it caught me by surprise because it looked like a tame shot there and you can see it on the replay getting the ball out wide he's cut in he's cut in there well, he's still about 35 yards out and there's not much power in this and really the goalkeeper's got to do a lot better than that and we can see it from behind here it did not touch anybody maybe a couple of players in the goalkeeper's way you can say but still it has to be saved well early goal is what any game needs particularly one like this they enjoyed that. They've not been scoring many goals recently, so they'll take every gift that they're given. And Cyril Banyos has scored his second goal of the season. Yeah, deserved lead. There's, uh, you know, first 14 minutes has been all Etoile. I've probably got 80% of the ball so far in the first 14 minutes, and uh, they deserve the lead. And SAF have got to take the game to them now. So the question has been posed. What have the champions got? Well, Mendy's holding off Lovrich. And he beat him and then went back into trouble. But he's retained possession and Vashav will chase. That no Rahman. Into Rosette, but that'll do. They're playing with a lot of confidence uh, and I think SAF will need to start getting a lot tighter because uh, the longer they allow these French team to, you know, to push the ball around, the more confidence the players are going to get on the ball. So uh, at the moment, it's working for their twelve. Shouldn't have stereotypes, but let's talk stereotypes. And the French, when they're leading, will play with a swagger and a confidence. When they're losing, their heads might go a little bit. Apologies to all the French people I've just offended. <laughs> and I'm a French fan. Uh, so... Uh, 
look, uh, they, they're playing good footy. They are playing good footy and uh, confident football. And uh, and they deserve, you know, they deserve the lead. And uh, let's just hope that the SAF start to close them down a little bit earlier because he's just giving them too much room at the moment. Here's Mendy. Down the channels looking for the onrushing Kevin Yan and John Wilkinson, who we've hardly mentioned in the commentary, gets his first touch. Akiyoshi was caught late by Frederick Mendy. Abastoud had a little look to see if there was any real advantage. There wasn't. So he'll come back and have a little word with Frederick Mendy. Well, there's uh, not really not, not much in it there. Uh, definitely you can say it's a foul, but... Uh, it was a good ball because Indra was uh, running through. Maybe the referee should have just played the advantage. Cyril Banyos' goal on 14 minutes has given Etwal the lead. Indra has dinked it over for Park Taewon. Park comes off his body. That's good, strong defending from Lakahal. Like you said, uh, there's, uh, I think that's the first time we've mentioned Park's name uh, with Johnny Wilkinson. Uh, because all the possession has been without a while and they need to get the hold of the possession and, uh, and start having a go at, uh, at the Atual defence because they have not been tested uh, thus far. The winner of this game will go to second in the Great Eastern Yo's S League table behind Tampanese. They will have played more games than Tampanese but as we approach the end of the first round of games it's a nice position to be in just off the back of the leaders is Akiyoshi for Sandberg Lovrich and Dan Bennett again looking for the angle ball found Park Day one just a little bit too straight yeah absolutely too straight it wasn't a bad uh, ball there by Denny but it had to go diagonal a little bit diagonal for Park good run by Park but at the moment that's the only outlet for SAF he's been the long ball No free kick, says Abbas Daud. Mark Taiwan gets up. Oh, well done, referee. That's definitely a good foul. And the play has continued. Lakahal shakes his hands. In the meantime, the French again, they've retained possession beautifully. And here's Mendy. Left foot from Cheryl Jansen, which isn't his favourite. Just hooks it forward and Indra, the lone striker. John Wilkinson. This one up front is great if you get bodies up in support. Yeah, absolutely. And at the moment, Indra's got no support. Johnny's got to get a lot closer to him and so does Akiyoshi and Park. And they're just too far apart at the moment. Here's Park Taewon. Hafiz Osman. Latif. Sandberg. Good pressing high up the pitch by Etwell. Good ball retention by the armed forces. The clerk's header and Karubi mopping up and then nearly miscontrolling. Oh, a little bit of off the ball stuff between Wilkinson and Karubi. Keep an eye on that one. In the meantime, Michelini up against Hafiz Osman. Free kick against Hafiz Osman. And it's a little bit more magic from Michelini. In the middle of the pitch, Karubi and Wilkinson have a little handshake. Yeah, great skills there by uh, Michelini. You can see it here. There's the flick coming through. And absolutely outthought uh, Hafiz Osman. Definitely foul. But I think it's uh, there's, the, there's the push by Johnny Wilkinson. I think it's just all frustration. And uh, Karubi uh, didn't like what was uh, done by Johnny. Just a little bit naughty, but I'm sure uh, Karubi will get his uh, back in the next hour or so. We'll keep a little eye on that one. In the meantime, Etwal, who have the lead, have a free kick in a good position. They've got Mendy and Lakahal and De La Traz to aim for. De La Traz for post. A little push against Lakahal. Do you see much here? Yeah, I think it was just a little push in the back. You can see, I think it's Loveridge or it's Sandberg. Oh, God, really not much, to be honest with you. It should have been play on. Singapore Armed Forces do play on with Park Taewon. Ahmed Latif, 
there's no width. Akayoshi was inside and Indra's force there and the armed forces, I suppose their lessons have been defensive lessons in the AFC Champions League. And they need to get a little bit more flair to break down their 12. Bennett is barged into by Mendy, who had no eyes for the ball and will receive a yellow card. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing in that. And uh, I think Daniel Bennett just uh, bought a yellow card for Mendy. I mean, you can't, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a yellow card. And there's been worse tackles so far in the first 20 minutes. And uh, he's, he's very, very unlucky, Mendy, who's uh, started the match beautifully. He's been probably the best player on the park in the first 20 minutes. Michelini picks up a, a poor free kick from Dan Bennett. Kevin Yan. To Karubi. Five draws, three wins, and a defeat is the record for Etwell, plus the little matter of a League Cup victory to their name. You look at the difference of Etwell, the way they're playing, they're using the full width of the field and keeping possession and moving off the ball beautifully there, where SAF is just playing too narrow and they're trying to get through the middle most of the times with possession and they're just playing into Etwell's hands. Lacahol, Mendy, Bennett in quickly. Lacahol gets the better from Indra, but Wilkinson loses out to Karubi. Sandberg versus Karubi, that's a bit tasty. Yeah, there's a bit of fire from Karubi in those two tackles. My break to Kevin Yan. Whoa. That's not too far wide. Yeah, again, beautiful play, beautiful play there. I think it was Delacruz to Mendy, great ball back to Kevin Yan, and why not? It's only 30 yards out, just past uh, Cheryl Jantan, and great play again by Etowell, who's uh, at the moment teaching SAF uh, footballing. That's in the first 25 minutes. We mentioned the weather and the temperature before. And we say the Etoll boys should have acclimatized, but when it's that little bit cooler, I can't remember seeing them play so sprightly and with such spirit in other games. Yeah, look, they, they look very, very compact they, uh, at the moment. They're, they're pushing the ball beautifully. Uh, they're reading uh, each other's game uh, magnificently. I think they're up for this game. I think uh, they're all prepared uh, for this game. And at the moment, SAF is, you know, they've got to find another gear. Otherwise, they're going to be on a, another couple of, you know, goals hideout. Lobridge wins the header. And then the assistant referee somehow gave it to Singapore Armed Forces. Abbasloud overrules him. I think he made a mistake. He got the spray from the coach, we can see from up here. He's still going on and on. And, and he's a little bit too much. Uh, look, I like the coach, but I think he just carries on a little bit too much for my liking. We'll get a translation of cop the spray in a moment as Lovrich knocks the ball right-footed high into the Singapore night sky Lackahol Lackahol who courted a little bit of controversy for that red card in the handshake against Tampanese he's back now in the lineup and off the pitch he's a, a mild-mannered man this is Park Tae Won. Good strength from the Korean born. Latif Sandberg. Nods of approval for Sandberg from Abbasad. Yeah, look, he's just picking up the pieces. He's, uh, you know, he's playing it nice and simple, but uh, it's just there's just no movement from his teammates at the moment. It's just too easy for Etowal to defend. And uh, you look at the difference when SAF has got the ball. They've been pressed very, very highly and uh, with a lot of vigour from the Etoile, where on the other shoe, uh, SAF is just letting Etoile play. Indra in his own half. That shows you how much he's been starved of the ball. And, uh, that's Indra's game. I mean, he needs the ball. And at the moment, he has, like you said, he's been starved of the ball. And uh, Richard Bock would not be too happy with his boys at the moment because at the moment, they're just too slow to everything. Yeah. 
25 and a half minutes played. Achjul Ambassar, Great Eastern Yos, S League 2010. It's the defending champions who are four points off the pace in the league table early in the season, admittedly. And they're trailing here. Etwell, the new boys, are certainly making their mark on Singapore football. And they might make even more of a mark if Cyril Banyost can get a run on Hafiz Osman. Banyos has got Michelini, Damiani going round out on the outside. Michelini comes back into Banyos. Peruvi, almost inevitably. And there's bags of movement in front of him. Michelini, Banyos available. Mendy and Vashav in the penalty area. Michelini, that's taken out. Man and ball by Hafiz Osman. <laughs> There's a little bit. Uh, look, there's not much in it. I think he's gone for the ball, Hafiz, and uh, I think it's just a follow through and a bit of frustration to go with it there. And uh, I don't think he hurt Michelini there at all. An important flick header for Mohamed Latif and Noor Rahman in front of the Singapore Armed Forces substitutes who are all out there warming up. Maybe it's a little sign from the coach that the 11 on the park need to buck up their ideas. Yeah, I think they'll have to very, very soon. Uh, otherwise, uh, Richard, I think, maybe he's just had enough of uh, the first, you know, 27 minutes. Uh, the performance has not been up to scratch. And uh, maybe if the, you know, the players see the substitute warming up earlier, they might get a kick uh, you know, in the backside and uh, start playing a little bit better. Lovric. Oh, Mendy again is frustrated. Lovric complaining that there's a lack of movement in front of him. That's why he's ponderous on the ball. And that's not a foul. He's, it's all ball there and uh, very unlucky for Mendy. And uh, I definitely agree with Ivan Lovric. The defenders are defending very well. And when they got the ball, there's just nothing in front of them because nobody wants the ball from the SAF midfield or strikers. Here's Karubi. Kevin Yan. Banyos, the goal scorer. Giving Hafiz Osman a lot of problems. Jan. Vashav was coming in. Mendy went for it. Vashav went for it. Kevin Jan. Little bit of magic. It was a beautiful ball there by Kevin Jan. And uh, I, thought, I thought Mendy and uh, Vashav there. There you can see it. Tasty ball there. And oh, I mean, Vashav should have scored there. He should have read that ball. And it should have been 2-0. I think in all of the games I've seen Etoile, and this is number six for me, they've created chances. They don't score the goals that they should do. Yes, uh, I think every six, maybe ten chances they are getting uh, one goal, and it should be, you know, the percentage should be a lot higher. But for me, that's probably the best uh, game, the best match that I've seen Etoile play as a team, and overall the first uh, half an hour. Delatraz, and you saw Indra, who looks very much hurt there. The Armed Forces players are around and... Ooh. Well, you can see why, because that's just... Uh, you can't do that. That was all studs. Studs up, and that's a yellow card. And uh, if the referee doesn't give him a yellow card, he's a very lucky boy, because he definitely got Indra on the, on the ankle. In the old days, when the studs were aluminium, that would be a very, very, very bloodied right ankle for Indra Chardin Dowd. In the meantime, as you can see, he's hobbling away. He's clearly unhappy. Yeah, let's hope he can shake it off because uh, they definitely need Indra here tonight. Uh, you know, if they're going to get back into this game because nobody else is looking dangerous for SAF by Indra at the moment. And there's no Martinez on the bench either. He's not even in the squad. But it's a chance for Ahmad Latif to put this close to maybe Lovric or Sandberg all good in the air a high line held by the French nearly goes all the way through that was a magnificent ball by Ahmed Latif and nobody attacked it I mean I think Lovric was at the back post you can see it on the replay he attacked it then he stopped 
he stuttered and the ball bounced. I mean, the ball should never bounce in the six-yard box there. I mean, that's just absolutely criminal. That should have been one all. Somebody should have just been attacking it and tapping it in. That's probably the closest the armed forces have come to a goal in the opening half hour. And still, the keeper has not made a save for the at 12. And Chardin is moving a little bit more comfortably now. As Mendy involved, always involved. He never hides. He misses chances, but he's always there. Yeah, that's what I like about him. He's, you know, he's he's a Mr. 200% on the field. He'll uh, he'll run everything down. He'll challenge everything. As we've seen the first half an hour, and I've seen the other games, and uh, it's a learning process for him. He's only a young, he's only a young man. He can only get better, and it could be it's frightening what he can do if he gets, uh, you know, a little bit better in front of goals because that's the only thing it's missing in his game at the moment. This is Ivan Lovrich for the armed forces. Taking them half an hour to warm up. Bennett, though, gives it straight away to Kevin Yan. And again, he gesticulates about the lack of movement. Nobody short. And Banyos now running at Dan Bennett. Corner kick. And look at Bennett. His arms are kimbo. Where's the movement? What options have I got? Yeah, he's absolutely filthy with his players. And so he should. Him and Ivan Loveridge have been magnificent in defending with Nor Raman. And... Uh, you know, at the moment, the midfielders and the strikers have let the SAF down very, very badly in the first half an hour. Somebody has to command the ball, and nobody at the moment is doing that. Patrick Valle was prowling the touchline like a caged tiger. His team on the up. Michelini, with header clear by Nor Rahman and cleared by Lovrich. Karubi. Michelini against Hafiz Osman. Hafiz trying to let it run out. Wins the corner. No, he doesn't. Goal kick. And Michelini shows his angst. It's a good battle between uh, Hafiz Osman and uh, Michelini. Uh, you see it on the replay. First look, I thought it was a corner. Second look, <laughs> it's a corner. <laughs> I thought my eyes were deceiving me, but it's definitely a corner, and you can see the frustration on Michelini's face. Frustration for Kevin Yan as well. He just went barging into the back of Ahmad Latif, who didn't make anything of it, and I didn't see Abbas Dowd flash a card there. And I think Kevin Yan has been rescued by the honesty of Ahmad Latif. Well, Ahmad uh, is that kind of a player. You know, he'll he, he'll take things and he'll dish things out, and. Uh, you know, at the moment, he needs to get in the, in the game. Here's Akiyoshi. He's got the better of Dulatraz. Sasuke Akiyoshi tries to do too much. And Dulatraz comes away with the ball. But for the first time, Dulatraz sold himself. And then Latif goes in on Dulatraz. There was a little bit of afters there. There is a yellow for Ahmed Latif. But that was for the tackle on Indra five minutes ago. Yeah, you can see the frustration there. And I was just talking about Ahmed. He just received a, a, a kick about a minute earlier. And uh, he just come in there and definitely yellow card on Delek Traz. And just, that's all frustration. Because, there you go. I mean, he just steamed in there. And it was just an obvious yellow card. This was great play by Akiyoshi. He was looking for the penalty. And, and that's just a soft dive. Oh, didn't look confident there. Got away with it. There's definitely no vendor, sir. Kevin Yan at the other end of the park. Still Kevin Yan. Referee says play on. Confirmation of the yellow card for Ahmad Latif. Lovrich. Latif. I think Ivan Loveridge is taking the ball through. He's trying to show his midfielders what they're supposed to be doing. And at the moment, uh, he's been great for them, Loveridge, uh, at the back. And uh, he's trying to do, I think, the attacking uh, modes with the defending that he's done so far. Wilkinson. 
better movement from the Englishman. A little bit of trickery to try and get past Damiani. Michelini. Just a little shove on the back of Happy Osman. Quickly taken. Referee lets it go. Here's Park Tae Won. He's got two shirts to aim for if he can get the cross in. Lackahol blocks. Yeah, their 12 defence has been magnificent in the first uh, half. They have not been caught out once so far. And uh, SAF has just got to do a little bit more extra to try and break that defence down. We were talking earlier on about Etwell's inability to score goals in the last two or three games. Defensively, they've only conceded one in three games. Yeah, well, look, they're very steady at the back and uh, they've got a good goalkeeper. And you can see why. Latif. Sandberg. Well, that was a defender's uh, shot, as they say, Des. But I think uh, Sandberg is just, he's, he's very, very tired. He's worked hard in the first uh, 36 minutes. And uh, you can see the way that he had, a hat, he had a go at this shot there. And he absolutely miskicked it badly. You can see it on the replay. Good lead-up work by Ahmed Latif. And that's just a really a poor effort by uh, Nicholas Sandberg. To be fair, Sandberg always looks like he's shattered from the first moment onwards, ever since the first games we saw in the qualifiers for the AFC Champions League. Look, it's taken his time, actually, to get used to the humidity here. I think he is getting better, uh, I'll be honest. I had question marks over him when I first saw him earlier. Mendy on Loverich, and Mendy... Bennett is saying he's led with the elbow. Haberstad may well have a word with the assistant referee here. And this is again Mendy. He took a look. Ah, there's no elbow. It's a head-to-head -head clash. Yeah, look, there's nothing in it. Absolutely nothing in it. His hand's nowhere near Loveridge. And uh, it was just a 50-50 battle. And you expect that from your strikers. The antics of Patrick Valet. We ought to put the music montage of him. It's great fun. Frederick Mendy, though, better be careful. He has picked up a yellow card. But that's his game, Des. I mean, what do you expect? So, you know, he's a big lad, and I've Loveridge is six foot six, so you know he's got to compete, and that's what you, you, the coach wants to, you know, from your striker to do. And at the moment, he's doing that, and he's doing it fairly. So he's got nothing really to uh, to worry about. Lackahol intercepts. Banyos. Etwal 1, Armed Forces 0, 14th minute goal, a 25-yarder from Cyril Banyos. The goal separating the teams, but in terms of performance, the first 30 minutes were all Etwal. At least the Armed Forces have begun to get back into the game in the last 8 or 9 minutes. And Lackahol just steps in front of Indra. And they continue to go through the middle, Des, and uh, it's just too easy for Atawell. And they've just got to change their game style in the second half or, or very soon. Because at the moment, it's just too easy for Atawell. They've just given him a footballing lesson. Okay, you're close to being a coach. How would you change it? You're Richard Bock. Well, at the moment, I mean, I think they're just giving them too much room in the, in the midfield and they're just not pressing as a team. They're just, you see, Indra's closing down, but the midfielders are not pressing behind him and just too much room in the middle of the park. So maybe put a little bit more pressure on the, on their back four and a bit more pressure on their midfielders and, uh, and you know, and let them uh, try and play. This is Mendy brought down by Sandberg. And, uh, rugby tackle. Akeyoshi standing on the ball. And it's Cheryl Jantan, the captain of Singapore Armed Forces and the subject of a vast amount of internet chatter saying bring him back into the national team, him and Ahmad Latif. And that chatter refuses to go away. Well, uh, you know, their performances has got to, uh, they've got to showcase with their performances and if they continue to play well, of course, uh, you can see Ruddy uh, Bramlich, the national coach, is just sitting uh, next to us. And I'm sure he'll take them with open hands if they're in good form. De La Traz, free kick. Well, he 
intended was a slight touch and that might have caused a problem as it was it batters into the backboards or the a-boards he can't hit a ball Delatraz. he's had a he's, he's had, had a fantastic game so far and uh, it's just a little, maybe it's a little bit too far for him but he did hit it very well back live Ivan Lovric we're into the final five minutes of this first half it's nearly lived up to expectations yeah the SAF boys look again they're just giving the ball away they've just got to keep the ball they're not going to win the game without the ball nobody's going to do that and at the moment they're just the turnovers is just too high and they're just giving the ball straight back to Etoile and it's uh, it's really hard uh, getting the ball back from them and every time they do they give it straight back noticeable there that Lacroix took his time and then when he rolled the ball out there was still no armed forces pressure disciplined defensively that's what they've learned in the AFC Champions League this is the S League Mendy's the target Lovrich header Akeyoshi just gets a touch Norahman always looks relaxed on the ball Norahman Akeyoshi tries to go past De La Traz 5-0 to De La Traz You've forgotten the three or four that he's gone past him. I think it's about five, three or four. Uh, but Delictraz is he's a very smart player and he's he's doing a great job on Ekiyoshi. Latif. Wilkinson. Feeling his way into the game, John Wilkinson. He doesn't look uh, 100% fit obviously he's coming back from an injury and uh, you can see the game is just a little bit too quick for him at the moment anyway Leclerc is composed and again Lacroix just makes Indra Shard and Dowd come and pick up the ball that must be really annoying for a forward <laughs> I used to just let the keeper get it and I'll play back there's no use me going up there because the goal, some goalkeepers will, will, you know, will hold the ball and wait for the striker and just try and kill some time but that's just part of the game Karubi for Etwell oh lovely touch from Banyos to Michelini and there's bodies in the middle comes off Bennett and what an important header that was from Dan Bennett yeah, great defending by Danny Bennett there was uh, two on two in the box and uh, you know great interception there uh, better ball by Michelini could have been uh, you know dangerous for, for SAF Kevin Yan Veshav Banyos the goal scorer Michelini again plenty to aim for Mendy's there so is Lovrich hack clear only as far as Leclerc that's a meat and drink for Ivan Lovrich, but only as far as Kali Karubi. He just keep playing the ball back to Etoal players, and uh, here they come again, and it's just been uh, defence versus, uh, sorry, attack versus defence, and uh, all game. Karubi to Leclerc. I suppose the only frustrating thing if you are Patrick Vallet is that the performance has warranted a bigger lead than 1 0. Yeah, he'd be disappointed with uh, with only the scoreline, uh, you know, not with the, the way they've played. Uh, you know, I think they've played absolutely beautiful tonight. It's probably the best I've seen them play, like I said earlier. And uh, But saying that, I think SAF have uh, had a lot to do with it because they've let them play and they keep on turning over the ball. Referee plays an advantage. Wilkinson has begun to see a little bit of the ball. Park. Wilkinson, Lovrich, Norahman sells Ahmed Latif short. Latif, good feet. Lovrich. He's looked great, uh, Lovrich, tonight. I think for me, he's been the, the best SAF uh, player. He's defended very well and he's been great on the ball. Uh, it's a pity that uh, a couple of other SAF players have not taken to his lead. It was an attempt just to angle the ball into Park T1 and for once the armed forces did have bodies forward there but it's taken them 45 minutes there will be 60 seconds of time added on at the end of this first half that's why will be desperate not to concede because it would undo all the good work of the first half 
Yeah, and they continue to push the ball around beautifully. And all through Karubi in the middle, he's been the, the heartbeat, the rhythm uh, of the team. Everything's just come through to him, and here he's a go. And I think he's probably touched the ball about 50 times in the first half. And that's credit to him because that's just the way. That's a uh, central midfielder or playmaker needs to do, get on the ball and demanding the ball. At the moment, nobody from SAF wants the ball. Here is Karubi once again. And although an awful lot of it's gone sideways, Lucas-like, it's effective and his team are leading. Yeah, he's leading and he's just telling them to come. He's just uh, playing it very, very smart. I mean, they, they're not going to hurt you without the ball. So, uh, and he knows that. And they're keeping the ball very, very nicely. Half-time whistle blown by Abbas Daud. It's been a bit of a French masterclass. It's well, the goal scored by Cyril Banyos on 14 minutes. But they've dominated possession, and they've dominated statistics, and they've dominated the armed forces and lead by a goal to nil at half-time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they've been great in the first 45 minutes. Uh, deserve lead, 1-0. And the SAF are going to go in the dressing room and uh, rethink their first 45 minutes performance. I think Richard Bock would probably give him a, a, a kick up on the backside, and you'll see a different SAF uh, for sure next half. Half time highlights coming up after a short break at half time at Jalamba Sar. At 12 1, the armed forces nil. Great Eastern Yo's S League Friday night football. It's Jalambasar. Splendid looking Jalambasar. Splendid performance by Etoile Football Club. It's got the French fans smiling. They're leading the defending champions, the four time defending champions, by a goal to nil courtesy Cyril Banyos, 14th minute strike. There's Corker in the commentary box alongside me, the legendary Abbas Saad. And Abbas, you have been mighty impressed by Etwell. Absolutely, very, very impressive. Uh, first 45 minutes, great footballing display and uh, really given uh, SAF uh, a footballing lessons. But uh, we know SAF, they're four-time winners and uh, they are a great team. Let's just hope this second half, it's a, it's a new SAF to, uh, team with a new attitude and an attacking attitude. Let's, you know, I'd love to see them have a go at this uh, Etwell team. It's Frederick Mendy who will take the kickoff alongside Fabio Michelini Abbas Dowd is the man in the middle and precious little to do, a couple of yellow cards so Etoile, if they can hold on to this lead or add to it, they will move up into second in the Great Eastern Yo's S League and they get us underway in the second half, and Karubi immediately involved as you say, he got hold of the ball 50 or 60 times in the first half and hardly wasted a pass. This is Michelini, one-on-one -on -one with Bennett. Michelini waiting for support. Our oh, lovely feet. Cleared by Noram and only to Banyost. Wilkinson steps in and Akayoshi picks up the second ball. I have a question for you, Abbas. Yep. Why don't the armed forces throw caution to the wind and attack? Well, good question. We've been asking that uh, all the first 45 minutes. You look at the players they got on the park. They're all very, very good players. I mean, you know, they, they got they shouldn't have any fears having to go at Etowal. And at the moment, they really have not been. Te they haven't tested them. And I'd love to see them test them in the first, uh, you know, in the first minutes of this half. And uh, let's just see what Etowal is made of. And there's Richard. I'm sure he's probably told them at half time, and he's probably given them 10 minutes to get their act together, otherwise it's going to be substitution. And I'd love to see some new players come on, maybe with a new attitude. Mendy took a, a knock to the leg from Ahmad Latif. I don't think there was any real intention there. It was Azi Landa, but Mendy does get himself in the wars. He is very dangly. He's a big boy, and uh, you know, there's not, he's, not there, he's not going to be the, the last player that Ahmad Latif is going to kick on the ground anyway. Kevin Yan finds Banyos, the goal scorer. Damiani. Lakahal. Damiani onto Banyos. Spreads it out. Good full width of the park is being used by the French side. And that's been the key tonight. They have used the full width of the park, and there's plenty of spaces out there, and that's why they're very comfortable on the ball. And uh, the SAF uh, players have just let them run into those spaces. Jan 
Banyos. Jalan Basan, virtually a second home for the French team. So they'll be used to the Astro pitch by now. Queenstown is, of course, their official home, but they're such a high profile. And obviously, the League Cup run saw them play at Jalan Basan most of the time. Probably half their games have been here, half their home games. Well, they've had a good season so far. They've won the cup. Uh, I mean, you know, they're third position. They're, you know, with this win, they'll probably go up to second position. So, so far, everything is going well. I mean, they're getting sponsorships. They're getting the, the people uh, in the in the grandstand. And uh, so far, they've been an absolute success for, for, for the S-League. Free kick against Damiani. Damiani just coming in the back of Park, who gets his body in front of the ball. Karubi picks up the loose pass, and Mendy has got Vashav making a run on his right. Mendy slow with the pass. Karubi. That was a wasted uh, chance there, but they're still in possession. They're still in for the chance, and uh, they've just given it back. But a great chance there early on. Mendy was two on two, and he had Vashav made a beautiful inside run. All he had to do is just release him, and he got the ball uh, tangled between his legs. Ivan Lovric. Next action for these sides, for Etwal. They take on the Young Lions, who beat the Armed Forces 4-3 in a thriller a couple of weeks ago. For the Armed Forces, they've got the little matter of a trip to Korea for Suwon in the AFC Champions League. Yeah, they should be worried now about this uh, game first, and uh, at the moment it's not going the way they want it. Vashav! Great hand, Cheryl Jansen. So easy to lose focus there. Magnificent ball by, uh, I think it was uh, the left back, uh, Damiani. It was Damiani. Magnificent ball, look at that. I mean, and just bending away. And great save there by Cheryl Jantan. Maybe the striker could have been a little bit braver there and gotten the second goal. Wilkinson, close down. Hafiz Osman. Wilkinson. Hafiz. Gets hold of the ball eventually. Bennett. Latif. Well, there's a difference, I think. Uh, you can see the French team closing the uh, SAF boys a lot quicker. And that's, uh, and that, and that, and that's you know, that's very, very good play by them. And that's why, they're, you know, they're at ease at the back. And But we can see, I think, uh, Richard Box already made a uh, positional change. He's pushed uh, Nicholas Sandberg up front with Indra and he's gone for a 4-4-2, which is a good good way to go. It's as you were calling it just before half-time. You ought to take a, a coaching course, Abbas. <laughs> I don't think they'll invite me on it, though. <laughs> Ooh, Michelini was caught late by Wilkinson. He is a little bit dramatic, is Fabio Michelini. I didn't, get, I didn't see that. There's a, I'd love to see it on the, on the replay. Let's just hope he's not uh, play acting. Yeah, well, that's a little bit naughty by Johnny. Oh, there's a second, second charge down by Johnny Wilkinson. I think in the first half he did it on Taruby. Not much in it, so I don't. I think uh, Michelin is doing a little bit too much to try and get uh, Johnny booked. He's been a real treat to watch, Fabian Michelini, with his fancy footwork and his goal scoring creativity. And I've been a big fan of his, Des. I think I said he's probably one of the best players in the S League, and uh, you know, I'll continue to say that, but uh, I don't think we need that kind of uh, acting on the field because he's a wonderful player on the ball and I'd love to see him uh, with the ball and not on the ground. Recovering, getting his second wind. Make sure the good looks are there. Camera's on. Patrick Vallée for once, not. Oh yes, he's patrolling the, the line. He is like a cage tiger. <laughs> he's given somebody the death stare there. <laughs> And uh, I can tell you, it's probably Johnny Wilkinson from the, from the, from the way he was looking there. Yeah. And Ivan Lovric has said, I've given the ball back, but he's given the ball back five yards away from the goal line. And this giving the ball back causes an awful lot of aggro. Yeah. This could be tasty in the next few minutes. I think so, because there he goes. They're already at it uh, in the middle of the park. I think it's Ahmed Latif and Damiani. 
And uh, the referee's got to get hold of this game. And Ahmed's just got to keep his head and, uh, you know, start playing for SAF because they need him on the park, not off it at the moment. This could be worth watching for the next 10 minutes. Postpone that cup of tea you're making. <laughs> oh, I've just done that. <laughs> Right, it's a test for Abbas Dowd because you know there's going to be a tackle or two flying in in the next three or four minutes. Yeah, look, the fireworks are coming and uh, it could be a good thing for SAF because uh, they need somebody, you know, they need a bit of fire and I think uh, Ahmed Latif might have just given it to them. Belachaz offloads quickly. Oh, Bennett lets it land and Mendy is in quickly and he's got support. The shaft's in the middle, Bennett. Well, it was his mistake, but what a recovering tackle. Yeah, magnificent recovery by Daniel Bennett, but I was just going to have a go at Danny actually for letting the ball bounce because, you know, as a defender, you'll never let the ball bounce, especially when the strike is only a couple of metres away from you. And here it is here. You do not let the ball bounce there, and well done by Mendy. Brave as ever, but look at the recovery. This first touch here sort of let him down a little bit. Well done, Danny Bennett. But it's at the expense of a corner. The armed forces have some defending to do. Banyos. Vashav off the line. Hafiz Osman. Akeyoshi. There's a French player down. The armed forces are playing on. At last, Mendy puts it out and... Mendy is not happy with Akiyoshi. A little bit more aggro between the teams. Yeah, a bit of unsportsmanlike there by SAF. Uh, I'm not sure who's the one who got injured. I mean, that's the latter part. With Mendy frustrated, he put the ball out. The action earlier on, though, was a, a great attempt by Vashav. This is the moment. Gets near post, and that's off the line from Hafiz. Yeah, beautiful header there by Vashav, and well done by Hafiz, but I think it was Damiani and uh, well, Leclerc and uh, Ahmed Latif. And you can see his nose, he's got blood coming out of his nose, and uh, it was just a clash uh, in the air with uh, Ahmed Latif from the corner. This is bubbling up. Yes, it is. It is bubbling up, and uh, I think both teams just got to settle down, get their heads together and start playing good footy because uh, all the people here come to watch uh, a football match. Beautiful uh, ball there by Banyas and a great run there by Vishav and well done to Hafiz uh, eye on the ball all the way It's got the crowd going and Patrick Vallet is patrolling the touchline in front of us Looking to get his side back to full strength, the Croix. Yeah, the coach has got to look to settle down. He's got to settle this. Oh, Hafiz Osman, that must be a red. It's a straight red. And Mendy is left writhing in agony. And Hafiz tries to plead his innocence, but you called it within a millisecond. Straight red, Hafiz Osman. That is an absolute horror tackle by uh, Hafiz Osman. I don't know what got into his head. And, uh, I mean, he could have done a lot of damage to uh, Mendy. Let's just hope Mendy's uh, not too badly hurt by that. You can see it on the replay. That is one of the worst tackles I've ever seen. That is horrible. That is absolute horror. Oh, his eyes aren't even on the ball. No, and uh, straight into... Uh, I don't, I don't really want to say where, but it is, that is horrible, horror, horror tackle. And uh, let's just hope uh, that Mendy's okay. It's very disappointing by Hafiz because he is a very good player and now he's let his team down. Well, we said it was bubbling and it has indeed bubbled right over. Ten men versus eleven. A goal down and the French team trying to take advantage. Park clambering over the back of Damiani. Well, it's just made it a little bit more harder now for SAF to get back into the game. But 
you know, I mean, all the ascendancy now is with the French team, and they just got to keep their head and push the ball around as uh, they've been doing for the first uh, 56 minutes. Michelini, Lovrich, brought down by Michelini. Abastoud right there, making sure there's no nonsense. Now, are the armed forces brave enough to just play with three at the back? Well, they should. Uh, they, they can do that. They, they need to, to get on the score sheet. And they're good enough to play at the back. I mean, Danny Bennett, Loveridge can do the job. They can handle the job with uh, Mendy and uh, keep the two strikers up front. A little bit of spice in the game. A lot of spice in the game. And a red card for Happy Osman. Here's Indra. Karubi doesn't bottle out of that challenge. And Kevin Yan. Mendy has turned his man and Mendy has got for shove to his right, Michelini to his left. Bennett takes a, a heel to get there. Yeah, it was the wrong option by Mendy. He had for shove on the right. Should have slipped him in and continued his run in the box and probably got the ball back uh, for, for the second goal. Here's Akiyoshi. Sandberg goes to his left. Lackahol again just intercepts. So alert to that ball, fed into Indra. Yeah, Lackahol's been fantastic. He's kept Indra very, very quiet tonight. He's read the game very, very well. And uh, they've been uh, really very, very comfortable at the back because SAF have, uh, really has not troubled them at all in the first 60 minutes. Karubi. Banyos. It's just made it... Uh, a lot harder now for SAF to get the ball though. With 11 players, they were not getting uh, you know, their feet on the ball and now it's just going to be a lot harder. Here's Jan, intercepted by Noor Rahman. Oh, Cheryl. Well done. Well, play, well played there by Cheryl. <laughs> he had a lot more composure than some of his teammates tonight on the ball. Latif. Wilkinson. Ironically, there was more movement ahead of the ball there for Wilkinson with 10 players than there had been with 11. Yeah, look, uh, obviously they're going to be they're a little bit desperate now. It's just uh, they're going to work extra hard, uh, you know, to make up for, for the numbers there, for, the, for Hafiz is uh, sending off. And it's going to be difficult, but, uh, the, you know, they're good enough to, to, to get back and uh, score a goal against uh, Etowal. We're coming up to the hour mark. Etowal won. Singapore Armed Forces nil. Karubi on the ball. The only goal of the game coming as early as the 14th minute. Cyril Banyos, who's on the ball. This kind of distance. Kevin Yan. The overlap from Delatraz. Great ball in. What a magnificent ball by Delatraz and uh, really poorly, uh, poorly sort of read there by uh, Mendy. Should have been attacking it near post. Banyos. Jan, space out wide for De La Traz. Two shirts in the penalty area. Banyost on the edge of the penalty area. De La Traz, dispossessed by Akiyoshi. Bennett, Sandberg. Ooh, Park slips and then recovers. Latif, Wilkinson. Miscommunication between Wilkinson and Latif. Yeah, there was a little bit of miscommunication. I think uh, Richard Bock would probably have to go to his bench now. I think uh, one or two fresh players, I think, will help the team and maybe sort of reinforce uh, their attacking game a little bit more. As Richard's probably looking at doing that pretty much soon. Mendy. Lovrich. Furious that the free kick's given against him. Says he's got the ball completely. I didn't think there was much into it in this. Uh, I thought it was a great tackle there by Ivan Loveridge, but uh, the replay will show us. There's Mendy. Well, yeah, you can say it was. We'll probably see the feet from here. Well, we got the ball first, so it should have been play on, Des. Free kick, though. To the French side, Etoile, it means start. Cheryl Janton has got a job to do. Michelini goes for goal. Yeah, 
Uh, Michelin has gone for straight at goal here. Uh, just got a little bit underneath it and uh, easily over the bar. As we're watching the replay, Mendy is coming on. Stopped by Loverich, only as far as Kevin Yan. Vashav. Michelini to his left, Vashav. Mendy. Flag stays down. Still Mendy. Blocked by Bennett. Park Tay one. Attack v defence. It's end to end. The game has opened up all of a sudden, and it's, uh, it's good to see. And uh, we, we're going to see a lot of chances in the next half an hour. Hang on in there, folks. We'll have more goals here. You can guarantee that, Des. Sandberg. Akeyoshi. Lovely ball to Sandberg. Held away. Referee has given a free kick against Sandberg. Don't get that. Don't get that at all. I'd like to see it on the replay because Sandberg was attacking it and I thought he was boxed out of it by both defenders there. But we'll see a beautiful cross by Akiyoshi. Here it is. Well, you can't do that. And that's just... That, that, you know what? Other referees probably would have given it a penalty there. Absolutely. I, I thought that's what Abastard was doing as he stopped the game, blew the whistle. And Richard Box certainly thinks so as well. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought so. Late challenge from Sandberg. Michelini. What is it with these French guys? I tell you, they, they do seem to get the hackles of the Singapore teams they come up against. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit of uh, arrogance maybe on the field, you know, and uh, which the Singapore players are not used to it. But hey, look, fair play to the French team. They've been they've been magnificent tonight, and uh, they've really given SAF a really good football lesson. I've enjoyed the way they played tonight, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree with the way they played and with their attitude on the field tonight. Substitution for the armed forces, and you called it Park Day One, taken off. Mustakim has got 25 minutes plus to make an impact, and he's pacey. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't start. I like Mustakim. He's got a lot of pace. He's very, very direct, and he gives him that avenue, you know, to get out. Uh, and he supports Indra very, very well. Let's just hope Mustakim does a lot better than uh, Park uh, did on the, in the first hour because he was very, very disappointing. One goal to nil to El at 12. They also have the advantage of a player because Hafiz Osman was given a straight red for a horrible challenge on Frederick Mendy. But since that, the armed forces have decided to play just three at the back and they've made a bit of a game of it. Here's Akiyoshi with players in the penalty area, but De La Traz versus Akiyoshi. I thought you were going to say 6-0. <laughs> But Delic Traz has been unbelievable tonight. He's, uh, you know, he's won 90% of those battles, and uh, really most of the attacking threat does come from Akiyoshi, and they've bottled him up tonight beautifully. Banyos, Karubi, Damiani, Mr. Kim does just enough. Ivan Lovrich into Wilkinson. No ramen. It's a, a little bit flamboyant, but unnecessarily so from Ahmed Latif. And Dan Bennett's been caught again by Mendy. And he's taken late by Ahmad Latif. Watch yourself, Ahmad. Kevin Yan. Vashav. Lovely ball. Near post. Cheryl gets a touch. Terrific play by Delatraz. Yeah, terrific play there by Etwell all, all round. Uh, started by from Mendy taking the ball from Bennett to Michelini, out to Vashav. And there's Delatraz uh, with the overlapping run. Beautiful ball there. And a uh, good save by Cheryl Genta. Uh, you know, I didn't think it was going in, but uh, still, the keeper made sure of it. Goes short to Karubi. Banyos, Kevin Yan. 
Lovely ball up to Mendy. Cheryl picks it up. Sandberg. Will concern it. Somehow find itself at the feet of Fabio Michelini. Yeah, he's got great feet, uh, Michelini. That was beautifully brought down. And uh, again, uh, very comfortable, the French team. With the ball, pushing the ball around and using the whole width of the park and making SAF players uh, a lot more tired <laughs> with 10 players than they were with 11. Vashav, strong enough to hold off Norman. Some pretty textbook stuff here from the French. Michelini. Oh, that cut inside again. Ahmed Latif is flying into one or two challenges. Do watch yourself, Ahmed. Van Yost. Yeah, Nicholas Sandberg has got to do a lot more now. And, you know, they're one man down, and when the ball goes up, they've got to hold the ball better, and he knows that. And he can't continue to turn it over because they're under the threat pretty much every <laughs> three seconds. Van Yost. Michelini! Oh, he just tried to pass it into the corner. It would have been beautiful. It would have been beautiful. Uh, you can see what he was trying to do there, but uh, I didn't think he knew he, he had a lot more time to... You can see it here. Beautiful uh, ball transfer of the ball there by Etwell and uh, unlucky there by Michelini. You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to bend the bend it around to on the left post of Cheryl Jantan. It's a great camera shot. Twenty-one minutes to play. It's been fun this second half. Not, <laughs> not for Frederick Mendy's upper thigh. Not for Hafiz Osman, but for the neutral spectator. The armed forces have had a go. Yeah, they've had a go, and uh, you know it's taken them uh, a long time to have a go there with ten men, and they're making a game of it, and they're still in the game. They're only one zero down. Well, could be 2-0 here. Banyos to Jan. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a cracking volley from Kevin Jan. They come over to applaud their fans and they think they've got these points in the bag. There's the emotions again from the game. That's a great goal, and uh, it's just livening things up here in the crowd. They've got good support there as well. Beautiful goal by Kevin Yan, and he deserves a goal. Beautiful play there by Mendy, and again, it was, uh, I think it was Cyril Banyos. Perfect, perfect, perfect volley, and uh, really, Cheryl can't do much about that one. Beautifully executed. And the celebration... For Kevin Yam, he doesn't score many. That's his first of the season. Did we expect any other reaction? <laughs> Superman at his best. <laughs> he is a real character, this guy. <laughs> but more importantly for the S League, it's a case of Etwal. After a couple of stuttering performances, are right back in it. A victory over the defending champions. Even if they are distracted by Suwon in uh, four days' time, a victory over the defending champions is something to shout about. Yeah, look, great play uh, here by uh, Mustakim. Look, uh, this French team is getting better every week, uh, Des, and I think uh, they will as uh, you know as time uh, flies past and they get used to the humidity and used to you know get used to each other's game because they are a brand new team. And uh, I think uh, the S League, all the other teams have got to you know really muscle up and uh, watch their back because uh, I think they're here to stay and uh, they're playing wonderful football Wilkinson John Wilkinson deflected corner kick it's better play by SAF and uh, much better play from Johnny and uh, we'll find that I think it was going wide at first yes it was and it could have uh, taken a deflection in there, but much better play by SAF, and I think that's probably the first shot out on goal. Loverich the target, goes all the way to Bennett. Loverich is there, 
clawed away second time by Lacroix. Well, the keeper's made up for his mistake there. Indra's shot. Well, it's taken them to go 2 0 down to really extend the goalkeeper. Here's the, ball, here's the ball over the top for Daniel Bennett. Great header back in. And I thought the keeper didn't do what well, unlucky there by Indra, who did react to the second ball. And a good save by the keeper. Bennett. Bennett almost as a right winger. Well, Sandberg is definitely now playing as a, an out and out centre forward. This is another version of it, Abbas. Yes, uh, good header by Danny. And the keeper should have done better. He done pat them. And well done to Indra. <laughs> Unfortunately, he hit the keeper. I didn't, I didn't think the keeper had too, <laughs> too much to do there, but just uh, power the game. You're a centre forward. You never think the keepers have anything to do with it. <laughs> Latif. Well, if this turns into a defeat for the armed forces, they will be four points adrift of Tampanese and they will have played a game more. I think it's too early to say, you know, at the moment uh, there's four points or six points is not that much and it, it is a long season and uh, you don't know, uh, you know, with injuries and suspensions coming by and the SAF, uh, you know, they'll be out of the AFC next week and I think they'll just put their head down and, and start concentrating on this league and we'll see much, much better performance uh, by this team because they've got a lot of quality in there. Lundberg. Akiyoshi looking for Indra. Second chance for Indra. Third chance for Indra. No penalty, says Abbas. Right on the spot. And the other Abbas here also said no penalty. There's two Abbas, no penalty there. There's, there's definitely no penalty by for Indra there. Mustakim looking for Akiyoshi. The crossing quickly, and you saw how Leclerc made sure Akiyoshi wasn't getting anywhere near that ball. There's that uh, Indra attempt early on. You can see it. Good run there by Indra. And really, you know, that's just uh, an easy fall for him. As we're watching that, there's a break on the far side as Mendy... As we're watching the replay, Mendy's put the ball over from about three yards out. A difficult volley. But there's so much going on, it's difficult for us to show you all the action and the replays. Yeah, it was good play by Bashar and uh, Mendy put it over the bar from uh, two metres out. Akayoshi doesn't get the ball into the box quickly. Indra turns, nowhere to go, looking for support. Ahmed Latif might fancy it, does fancy it. John Wilkinson. Throw in, armed forces trailing 2-0. Mustakin Manso. Nice cross. Good hands. Mustakin's made a, a big difference in the second half since he's coming on. He's, uh, he's gotten at least two or three crosses in and he's looked dangerous with his speed. Loverich wins the header. Dan Bennett. Nowhere really to go. Wins the throw in off Fabio Michelini. You've got to ask the question there's where is this attacking. Uh, game has been uh, for SAF he's been you know it only came to life in the last 20 minutes since they went down to 10 men yep. and the spectacle is far better as his result Wilkinson it's not gone out of play and Sandberg will ask the question of Damiani and a little bit of Frustration. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's frustration there by uh, Nicholas Sandberg. He's tried very hard tonight. The big fella. There he is. He's probably a central defender, playing as a striker, and he's done a decent job. He's won all his battles in the air. He's not the greatest player on the, on the ground, but he is very, very good in the air, and he's worked very hard for his team. Daniel Nahr comes on for the goal scorer of the second goal. Kevin Yan. That's a good shift from Kevin Yan. And now can either slot straight in centre midfield or Delatrazel come in and take Kevin Yan's place in the middle. 
yeah, you probably find Nah will go to right back and Delectra's in the in the midfield, and he's got a bit of fire about him. Nah, I think he's been sent off a couple of times already this year, hasn't he? Certainly the one, sir. Yeah. Mendy, he's high. Leverage. Akeyoshi against Daniel Nart, who's actually just playing in front of De La Traz to just make sure that Akeyoshi doesn't have a free reign. And a second change coming for the armed forces. Erwin Gunawan, who scored the famous goal against Henan. I think it's Indra's coming off. And he's, he's put on a good shift here tonight. Indra has worked hard and really got nothing out of it. And it's been a very, very difficult night for him because he's been uh, pretty much on his own up front. He's looking a little bit sharper, Indra. He's the year at Senkang and the injuries before that were like, pretty difficult for him. Bennett's playing as a centre forward now. It's a 1 1 <laughs> 1 1 6 formation. Yeah, they're a little, little bit, uh, you know, all over the place a little bit, but uh, they've still got uh, Loveridge and uh, Nor Raman at the back, and they're going with the two, and I think you find Ahmed Latif just sitting right in front of them. Wilkinson. Latif looking for Sandberg. De La Traz. Mendy does well, but Loveridge... Hassles him now. Loveridge comes forward. Erwin Gunawan only finds Lackerhol, and this is where they could be caught. Michelini has got Vashav, who's onside. Vashav times the run brilliantly. Vashav! Well done, goalkeeper. Akeyoshi. Well, they're willing to lose 3 0 at the armed forces. That much we know, or that much we can see. Daniel Nart. Well, it should have been 3-0, uh, but what a great save by uh, Cheryl Jantan. You can see it early on. Great play by uh, Michelini there. And Richard was pretty much one-on-one -on -one and really should have done better. He just hit it straight at the keeper. It's a lovely a weight on the ball from Michelini. Yeah, well, that's that's what he brings to the table. He is, he's got great vision and he's a good pass on the ball. And uh, you see the reaction of <laughs> the coach again. Lackerhull has been like a rock at the back. Mendy is onside. One on one with Cheryl. Frederick Mendy scores his sixth goal of the season. And the points are completely wrapped up for Etoile. It's 3 0 to the French team. And I think uh, Mendy will score an easier goal than that tonight. But uh, a deserved goal for Mendy, who's been absolutely outstanding tonight. It was just a route one, ball over the top, and uh, as you said early on, SAF was pushed forward and uh, left themselves in trouble at the back one-on-one, uh, -on -one, and he's just got too much speed for them. You can see it on the replay. It was just a ball over the top, and, uh, you know, he broke the offside trap, and really there's not much the goalkeeper can do. It would have been unbelievable if he missed from there. <laughs> he was never going to miss from there. Yeah, beautifully done. He just lobbed it over the keeper, chested down, and he had all the time in the world to uh, walk it in. Well, the armed forces have now conceded 12 goals in nine games. And that's not form of a, a team defending the championship for the fifth time. Yeah, look, they just got to get the, the A game back on, on track. And uh, like I said earlier, they are good enough to do that. They just got to play with a little bit more composure, a little bit more confidence at the moment. I think they just lack a little bit of confidence, and uh, they're not sort of playing that fluid game that they have been playing in the last four years. There. And it could get worse because Matthias Vashav has invited Daniel Nar to run, and there's five blue shirts in support, but Daniel Nar just slows it down. Three 0 is fine. 
<laughs> I, I think uh, the other Mendy was a little bit peed off, and so was Michelini because they want to score more goals. And uh, typical right back, he's played the ball back to his centre back. Banyos makes a rare mistake. His goal started it all. The volley from Kevin Yan made it two. Frederick Mendy's sixth goal of the season made it three. And Leclerc and Lacahol with Karubi just in front of them have had a, a solid defensive ball to get around. Yeah, Karubi's been great, and so is Banyos in the middle of the park. And, uh, you know, the flair of Vachav, Michelini, and uh, Mendy have done the job uh, tonight. But it's really the back four have been absolutely outstanding for, for Etowal tonight. They've really held up very, very well against, against a very good SAF uh, strike force. Michelini. Space for Banyos. Banyos. Not a million miles away. Why not? Change for the French team, and it's Vershav coming off. Leroy Anton coming on. It's probably the captain's best game I've seen so far this year. He's been uh, he's been great tonight. He's been great on the ball. He works so hard for his team in defence and up front. So, uh, super, super, super game by Vashav. That'll just shore up the midfield. Against ten men with six and a half minutes to go. The coach would be hoping that they'll hold on to a 3 0 lead. <laughs> well, uh, if they can see the goal, he'd be disappointed uh, against uh, 10 players. But not only that, I think, you know, SAF is, is very, very tired at the moment. And they have defended pretty much the whole game. They've been just chasing the ball. So uh, he would be disappointed. And he'd probably want to see one or two more goals in the next uh, 10 minutes. Doesn't get easier for the armed forces. The trip to Korea and a match with Suwon. Suwon already qualified along with Gambra Zaka for the round of 16. But Suwon will be looking to try to wrap up top spot in that group because that means home advantage in the one-off round of 16 in the AFC Champions League. So they won't expect anything any, anything like sympathy from Suwon. Yeah, there's not much in that. Uh, Banyos, I think, is just having a bit of a rest on, on the ground there. But yes, uh, there's, I think it, it's very, very difficult to travel. You know, as a as a as a professional footballer, and it's it's a long trip, especially after tonight. They've got to back up in a couple of days. A few minutes rest for John Wilkinson, who will be integral to the team that plays in Suwon and Triple R. Rich Roshan Rai comes on for Johnny. I'll let you say that for the rest of the six minutes or so. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, look, jo Johnny worked hard. He'd be a little bit disappointed in his game, but let's not forget, he has been out for a couple of months, and he's just getting back from injury, and, and the best is yet to, to see from uh, Johnny Wilkinson because he is a clever and a good player for SAF, and uh, they'll definitely need him this week. That's Triple R, signed from Balestia. Elegant left-footed central midfielder. Not looking too happy with life. Yeah, look, he'd be disappointed with his uh, overall uh, play, his team's overall play, and uh, very disappointed uh, from Hafiz Osman, who's pretty much let his team down in the last, what, 40 minutes? He's rocking. And Norahman and Ahmed Latif has a lot of Dan Bennett. Mr. Kim. Wholesale changes of the foreign players in the off season by Singapore Armed Forces. In some ways, it's proved worthwhile because they have picked up their first points in the AFC Champions League. But early elimination from the League Cup, trailing a little bit in the Great Eastern News S League. A lot of questions still to answer. Yeah, I'll probably uh, disagree on that one, Des. I thought they had uh, a good bunch of foreigners last year. I think Alex Juric would be, you know, he's still sorely missed. Indra has been magnificent for them. 
it would have been great to, to see Indra and Alex probably uh, up front. I think they'll be a, a lot uh, better potent uh, attacking team. And uh, at the back, I think Lovage has done well. But apart from that, I think, uh, you know, yet to see the best out of the other foreigners. Comfortable enough catch for Johan Lacroix. Should be. He's about, what, eight feet tall. <laughs> He's a, he's a big boy, and uh, sometimes he makes it very, very hard for himself, but he is a big fella. Michelini. Anton. Rich Roshan. Erwin Gunnowen. It's a chance for the likes of Erwin and Rich Roshan and Mustakim Mansour to make an impression on the coach. Oh, he's made an impression badly there, Erwin Gunawan. Lackerhol side down from behind, yellow card. Well done to Lackerhol, he's, he's up straight away. He's been magnificent at the back, and uh, I think it's just frustration there. gunawan has got the ball off him. Really, it's, yeah, look, it, it wasn't that as bad as it looked, as you can see. He's, he's, he's a yard away from the ball, yeah, Alex. Yes, he is a yard away, and it's just really silly and I agree with you that's just a silly yellow card and uh, it could have been a red card if he you know if he got him a little bit more Daniel Nah Sundra Murdy in the stands not too far from us is making copious notes on how the young Lions will cope with Elt Etwell Confirmation that Erwin Gunawan, a former young lion, is in the referee's little black book. Michelini, Daniel Nart. That wasn't too far away. I don't know if he was shooting or crossing there, but uh, only he he knows because we didn't we didn't know what he's what, what was he doing there. But uh, talking about syndrome, yeah, the young lions have got them next. And uh, speaking to him, he was very, very impressed in the first 45 minutes for, from the French team. And uh, the young lions will have to bring their A game to give this French team a game on, uh, the, you know, next week. We understand there's going to be an extra three minutes of torture for the armed forces, of sheer fun and frivolity for. A very impressive Etwal. Let's hope this very story for Etwal does carry on because it's a good news story for the most part so far for the French boys. Leroy Anton. <laughs> You can see the coach is still uh, remonstrating with his players. He just does not sit still. And, uh, you know, he's always got something to say. But, you know, that's something that I like about him. He's, he's full of fire, but he's full of passion. And he loves the game. And I think it's showing now. And he's getting it across to his team and to his players. And they're playing with that passion and uh, good football. Good luck. Karubi always wants the ball. Michelini always there. De La Traz always willing to go down the right hand side. I think that's the word, Des. It's always, and uh, it's been every player today, they always want the ball. And uh, that's been the difference tonight, is the French boys wanted the ball. And uh, I think they want the game a little bit uh, more than the SAF players. And that's why they're three up. <laughs> We're in the death throes of this game, but it's been a very, very good performance from Etoile. The stars from France they had a little bit of negative publicity, losing their marketing team in midweek. But this is the best way to answer any kind of negativity. Absolutely, and uh, you know they've let their feet do the talking tonight. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk. Uh, off the field, but this is where really it matters on the field, and they'll be magnificent tonight. Now 
Mendy. Ahmed Latif. Competitive to the end. Leroy Anton. Can't keep that one in play. Yeah, Ahmed's been great for SAF. He's worked really hard tonight. He has been uh, up and down and uh, he's been frustrated all night because that's not his game. He wants the ball, but he really hardly hard seen the ball tonight. And it's been a frustrating uh, night uh, all over for the SAF boys. Vish Roshan. Ambitious. Damiani can just kick it off and find Kevin Yan. Oh, tricky. Very late from Mustaki. Michelini. Dan Bennett makes the challenge. Kevin Yan. Banyos. Daniel Nart. Surely there wouldn't be a fourth. That would be absolute humiliation for the armed forces. Three is bad enough. Etwell move up to second. It's a nasty lesson for Richard Bock and the armed forces as they head off to Suwon to play in the AFC Champions League. They brought an awful lot of this on themselves, the armed forces, but massive credit to Etwell. Goals from Banyost, Kevin Yan and Mendy have given them a comprehensive 3-0 win.